I would say on some level that this process makes me exceedingly uncomfortable. You know, the, the stage and the, and the forceful uh, nature of this is, is uncomfortable for me. And, and you so, think that that's how you make a documentary? It's I understand completely, but I'm not the one that came up with the idea to do a documentary on me. Regular Austin has some anxiety. I don't like being around people, and I don't take care of myself very well. So if I seem miserable, it's because I am extremely miserable. I work from home. I don't go out. I don't have that many friends. He's an extremely private person, which is indicative of his music. My music is distinctly inaccessible. It has a 20s noir, almost Great Depression vibe to his thing that gives it his style. I think my sound is just happenstance. Through some sort of serendipity, you end up being flawed in the right ways. And that sort of becomes your style. what's causing the bleeding at all? No, I have no clue, which is scary as hell. It was a clostiotoma, and mine had gotten so bad that it had destroyed my ear, and I'll have to get surgery. I'm worried I won't be able to hear again, and I have a lot of things I want to be doing musically right now. I'm no longer working against the deadline of my contract. I'm now working against the deadline of my surgery. How do you stay positive? Do I? You mean you never heard? You mean you never heard? What are you gonna do until you die? You're filling you're filling time in this in this um, uh, really with this really terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs>